Hi, I'm Ben Ramalingam. I'm a visiting fellow with the Step Centre at the Institute of Development Studies, and I'm also the author of a recent book, Aid on the Edge of Chaos, which seeks to apply ideas of complex adaptive systems to international development, public health and humanitarian work. When we're thinking about applying systems thinking to the science of delivery, there are at least four broad types of approaches, classes of approaches, that we can engage with. The first are approaches that enable us to think about systemic complexity, to understand how a particular phenomena actually works, how it's shaped by feedback, by interdependence, by interactions between the different parts of a system. The second set of approaches enables us to understand behavioural complexity, how individuals think and how that, their thinking shapes how they behave and how individual behaviour aggregates to overall group behaviours. The third set of approaches are about relationships. They're about the relationships between individuals, between entities, between concepts and ideas. And the basic idea is that there are networks which really govern how we uh, communicate with each other, how we learn, how uh, everything from uh, group dynamics through to the way in, ways in which diseases spread across a population. The fourth and final area are uh, around understanding dynamic process complexity, how change actually happens, not the lovely straight line graphs that we often see in uh, our theories of change, but actually the, the non-linearity of change, the, the fact that it's characterised by surprise and by tipping points. Um, and I think those four broad approaches that help us think about systemic complexity, about behavioural complexity, about relational complexity, and about dynamic complexity, together provide a, a structured alternative to the standard operating assumptions of development and indeed of health systems work. And I think if we can engage more with these approaches, they provide us with new tools and techniques for thinking about how to deliver in the face of complex problems. Now, the, the, the particular relevance of complex systems thinking and the tools that I've just outlined for the science of delivery is that we often focus our research on ex ante design, on thinking about how an initiative or a problem might work. We have generally very weak monitoring through a process, and then we tend to then focus a lot of resources on the evaluation of uh, our interventions, our initiatives. And I think what the science of delivery in particular needs is a stronger emphasis on operational research, on implementational research. And while there has been some increasing awareness of this, and there have been handbooks developed, for example, by the WHO, in general, this is not something that is well integrated into the way our sector does things. The home of these tools and techniques of systems thinking, of uh, network science and so on, in, in other sectors that have really operationalised them, is indeed in implementation research. It's about understanding that these, these tools can help guide decision-making in real time. And that's the kind of effort that we need to make. We need to invest in these tools, not just as ex-ante or ex-post research techniques, but as a way of helping making decision-making around delivery more effective uh, as delivery is happening.